blah blah blah. All they ever do is complain. So what if I'm fat? Isn't that my choice? Why can't they just get off my back for once and let me live my own life? It's the same story, day in, day out. I don't care if I'm stuck in this wheelchair forever. It's not like there's something great just waiting for me if I lose some weight. It'll just be the same old life. Honey, all we're saying is that we want you to feel better about yourself. Your health is very important to us. You'd be able to go out more and enjoy more time with your friends. Yeah, yeah, you just want your daughter to be more presentable. I'm an embarrassment to you, isn't that it? What? No. You're our daughter and we love you. We just want you to have the same opportunities we had at your age. Go out, see your friends, find a boyfriend. Whatever. I don't need friends and I can get around just fine on my own. Honey, that's not what we meant. Aisle 18, section 343. 343. Ah! This should be it. The Atlas. VPN. Dang! In pursuit. Why are you chasing that thing? To get the VPN. You don't need to go through that hassle, Chen. Get it now for 183. Month with a three year subscription and a 30 day money back guarantee. I can? Of course. Floss is already using it to save money on his Japanese Netflix subscriptions. Oh. So I can get in on that deal? He borrowed my laptop last week, and it's full of malware now. Easy. Atlas VPN will block all that, and even keep your searches private. Install it on everything. Get it now for 183 month with a three-year subscription and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Whoa! Hey guys, we better walk on the other side of the street. There's no space left around her. <laughs> I'd rather be fat than a mouth breather, you moron. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Wow. Hey, Mr. Bender. Lucy, good to see you again. Can I get a piece of the chocolate pie? What? Is it no good? The cake's just fine, Lucy, but, um, your parents were in a bit earlier. My parents? They told me I shouldn't be serving you any more cake. What? Jeez, why can't they mind their own business? I'm really sorry, Lucy. Forget it. See you, Mr. Bender. Bye, Lucy. Who do they think they are? It's my life. Why, hello there, Lucy, and how are you, dearie? I'm good, Mrs. Winks. How are you? Well, I'm just fine. Are you meeting your parents here? No. Why? Oh, nothing. It's just that they say I ain't supposed to serve you anything unless they're around. Have they been to every sweet shop in town? Idiots! Now, Lucy, you mind your tongue. I'm sorry, Mrs. Winks. Thank you anyway. Sorry, dear. Can't keep to their own damn selves. It's my life and my body. Oh, hello. What's this? Well, I'll be. I found this cake. Does it belong to anyone? No? Finders keepers, I guess. Hmm, that was so good. What the? Okay, you can come out now. How'd you do that? Well, no point letting a good cake go to waste. Ugh, I'm stuffed. Don't tell me you're gonna make me another cake. Might as well take you home for a snack later. Honey, is that you? Yeah, Dad. It's me. Mr. Bender called. I'm sorry we had to do that, but it's for your own good. It's fine. I'm just gonna go to my room. Are you really sure you're okay about this? 
Yeah, don't worry, Dad. I'm just kind of tired. Can I go to my room? Well, if you're sure you're okay. I am. Okay, then. Love you. Love you, too. I know I said I'd keep you for later, but better eat you now before my dad finds you. Shucks. Guess that little trick only works once, eh? What is that smell? Oh wow! That is fantastic! Honey, is everything okay? Sure. It's just that you haven't really eaten anything for weeks. I thought that would make you happy. You keep complaining I'm a fat pig. I never called you a pig. And yes, we're glad you're losing weight, but you don't look healthy. What is it with you people? First you want me to lose weight, then you tell me I don't look healthy? We're just concerned. I'm fine. May I be excused? Of course. It's always one thing or another. I can't ever please them. What the hell? Oh god, what is that? Honey? We heard a scream. Is everything alright? Honey? What the hell did you do? I fixed the situation. The situation didn't require fixing. I was gonna get you out. Heard it before, Chen. If I left things up to you, I'd be ten before I found my way out of here. Now there's no reason for me to be kept at the Foundation. Jeez, man. You didn't need to kill her. What's it matter? She was a D-Class. That's her job. Anyway, I'm just a little baby. Can't hurt nobody. Get me sent to an orphanage and I'll consider your debt paid in full. That's cold, man. Just do it. Give me a few days. Don't get any more bright ideas, you hear? Get it done. That is terrifying. What is this? A 15-year-old girl. And how do you know? All 15-year-old girls are terrifying. That attitude, dating, makeup, it's all too much. Well, this isn't exactly a girl. No? What is it then? That's a worm. I'm serious. I am! She's a tapeworm! Can you be serious for once? Oh, look at her DNA. Oh, right, right. It's right here, between the green dot and the red dot. You see it? Of course I don't see it. I don't know how to read DNA. Let's just go talk to her. Hi, uh, what's your name? You know, I can't really remember. Odd. Where do you come from? Um, around here? Do you recall a young girl in a wheelchair? No, should I? Well, you were found amongst, um her body parts. Really? You sorry. I've got no idea about any of that. So you basically don't remember anything past this morning? Yep. Kinda all a blank, you know? Um, Klaus? One second. Kinda important. What is it? Look. The parents of the girl in the wheelchair brought her in. They say their daughter hadn't been eating much lately and had lost weight everywhere except around her midsection. Okay. So once we are out of here, in say, another hour, I guess once the blood work is done, we need to find where she got the tapeworm from. What's with the cake? Someone's birthday? Dunno. 
It was just sitting on the table. Everyone, your attention, please. Where did this cake come from? And did you save a piece for me? <laughs> right over there, boss. Wait a minute. Wasn't that recovered from the girl's house? No idea. It was just sitting here. Uh, hang on a second. Bystander reports having seen the victim in an alleyway eating a cake. This cake? That's it. She found the cake in a dumpster and ate it, which is what gave her the tapeworm. Oh, everyone stop eating! All of you, report to quarantine now! Results in? Yes, a little odd. How's that? Everyone's clean. No tapeworms. If the victim didn't get it from the cake, then where did it come from? Um, let's have another look at the cake. There was at least half a piece remaining. How'd it go? The cake tested negative for anything strange, but yet it's anomalous. Let me guess. You eat this cake and you turn into an annoying scientist with an odd interest in Japanese games and anime? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That is just a gift, my dear friend. A local boy reported seeing her eating a cake from a dumpster a few weeks back. Yuck. So we suspect she got the tapeworm from the dumpster, and clearly that wasn't just any tapeworm. 15-year-old developed girl with no memory. That type of tapeworm? Right. And the cake? It seems to multiply if not eaten. Well, that ain't so bad. Exponentially. One becomes two, two becomes four, four becomes eight, etc. Oh, so end of the world by cake scenario. Exactly. So this is going to be one D-class job that they are not going to mind. How did you get authorization for this? Well, um, I didn't exactly get authorization. Oh, great. Back to being a D-class. What did you say? We're going to become D-classes after this. Stop right there! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, fellas. We don't want to be bothering 055 now, do we? Kripke, you're with him? Look, I'm just following orders. Just following orders. That's it. That's it. That's how he got into the archives. Who? Uh, remember the guy with the girlfriend who had the makeup? He infiltrated the archives and stole a file, knocking out Kripke and taking his clothes to escape. But he didn't knock you out, did he? Smart dog. They were in cahoots. It was a ruse to get whatever files they needed without revealing Kripke as the inside man. Guess the cat's out of the bag now, though. So tell me then, one thing, Kripke. What was that file about? Not that smart after all, Doc. Tell me! Thought it was obvious. The file was about you. SCP-871. Object class, Keter. SCP-871 is a collection of 237 cakes. Instances of SCP-871 vary widely in appearance and size, covering the entire range of foods described by humans as cake. When any instance of 871 is consumed by a human or a collection of humans, it is replaced approximately 24 hours afterwards with a similar cake. If any of these cakes is substantially damaged through any means other than being eaten by a human, including being eaten by a non-human animal, it will be replaced instantaneously. Instances recreated in this manner maintain the schedule of the original instance. The mechanism by which instances of 871 are replaced is currently unknown. No deleterious effects have been observed to result from the consumption of 871. Even in cases where several instances have been consumed, excepting those expectable from eating large amounts of cake. 871's danger originates in the consequences of an instance not being eaten. Any instance of 871 which is not consumed will cause a new cake to be created in its vicinity after 24 hours. While this is similar to its normal replacement behavior, the original instance will continue to exhibit the same properties, replicating if damaged and continuing to replace itself every 24 hours. As there is no known mechanism for halting 871's replication, any uncontained instances could replicate exponentially, quickly becoming unmanageable, 
It is estimated that an uncontrolled outbreak originating with a single instance would render the Earth uninhabitable within 80 days. Each recurrence of 871 is to be maintained within a separate locked concrete cell on a metal platter permanently affixed to the surface of an immovable wooden table. Each cell housing a reoccurrence of 871 is to be monitored on a 24-hour basis via closed-circuit camera, with individual feeds checked every 15 minutes. Upon creation of an instance of 871, three Class D personnel are to be escorted by armed guards to its cell, where they are to be sealed with the instance and induced to consume it. SCP-1003 Object Class Keter SCP-1003-1 is an adult tapeworm known for causing hydatid disease. When the eggs enter the gastrointestinal tract of a human subject via consumption of contaminated food, they hatch into larvae, which burrow into the host tissue. Instead of developing into cysts, the larvae develop into creatures which resemble human embryos, hereby designated 1003-2. 1003-2's development mostly follows the pattern of normal human prenatal development, but at a faster rate. Once it has reached this stage, it will actively consume the intermediate host from within using sharp, hooked teeth. By the time it has fully consumed the intermediate host, usually after minutes or so, it will have developed into a child. The physical age of the child typically ranges from 10 months to 11 years, depending on the mass of the intermediate host. Though in extreme cases, where the intermediate host is morbidly obese, it can be as high as 13 to 15 years. Once Dash 2 is finished, it will lose its hooked teeth, along with its cannibalistic tendencies. From where on, it will be functionally indistinguishable from a human in every respect, with no knowledge or memory of having been a parasite. It will even possess learned skills such as language that would be expected of a child of its apparent age, despite there being no way it could have learned them. Their only anomalous properties at this stage are that their DNA is somehow still identical to that of a tapeworm, and that their bodily fluids, including sweat and saliva, contain tapeworm protoscolex, which infect carnivores and develop into Dash 1, thus continuing the cycle. The Foundation currently has 10 instances of Dash 2 in its possession, all of which are held in separate, heavily guarded high-security cells at Bioresearch Area 13. Body shape and consciousness are big topics in today's culture. We all know it isn't healthy to be overweight, but that never justifies intolerance and body shaming. We all have our own battles to fight. Be kind. As always, have a care and remember to subscribe, like, and share, if you would. Until next time, farewell.